See, when those people are not on the up and up and they bought, they pretend the, uh, the co-healthcare proxy doesn't exist, then Auntie does have a right to try to, you know, because they're tricking the judge and they're the ones who went and said blah, 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 the judge is there. And so maybe Auntie did make up. Maybe there's nothing wrong with her. Maybe she didn't. I don't know. What I do know is that Auntie sees the game these people are playing and on that, I'm on her side. You see how conflicted this is, though? Because I'm on her side in that. I'm on their side in, in that Auntie should be investigated. But they're scum. They're scum. They cannot just pretend the other health care proxy doesn't exist. That's like the hospital pretending I'm acting like I'm not my mother's health care proxy, even though I am, and only giving me the bare minimum. They're all scum. They're all corrupt. That's what Joe's like, you can go after them. For psychological, for terrorism, for, you know, for all this crap. They cannot do that. But the judge didn't even call them on it. The judge, the judge is, should be thrown out. Then she didn't say to them, why did you, what's wrong, why, what's wrong? Didn't you know that, that there was another health care policy? Make them account for that. She didn't. Selena was shocked. She didn't make them account. She didn't say, okay, so there's another health care policy. Why didn't you, she's like on their side. It's sick. She, we pointed it out, both me and Auntie. Auntie first and me. But I did it in the letter because I wasn't even going to intend to talk. I, again, I thought they can battle it out and I'll witness the lies and whatever. But I had pointed it out in the note. I'm like, yeah, how convenient. You don't even attach a copy of the health care proxy that shows I, that my mother did not just appoint me her health care proxy. She appointed both me and her half-brother, okay? They can't just pretend. But the judge is corrupt because she didn't say to them, so, you know, this is a this is a point in point that, that um that, that Laura and Auntie are are pointing out. Why didn't you? Why didn't you serve the co health care proxy? Why didn't you attach a copy of the health care proxy? Why didn't you um write down him and only wrote down Laura and see what they say? Did she do that? No. No. And that makes me not trust her. Okay? That's not right. Maybe an auntie knows what she's doing. Maybe she, that's why she didn't have her lawyer. She's going to be like, you know, we were blindsided. We get this in two days. We don't have time to get a lawyer. My mom's not even there to have a lawyer. Well, we tried to serve her and you stopped it. Oh, go fuck yourself. I'm on auntie's side on this. I don't care if she pretended that my mom's in the hospital or whatnot. You guys are lying. You don't even serve the co health care proxy. You don't even give him notice of that. He's equal power with me, but you want to pretend it's just me and auntie fighting and poor mama, and she's all conflicted, so she's so conflicted she belongs in a nursing home. You know? I'm tired of this shit. No. Selena thought they wanted to see you go after, after uh, you and Auntie go after each other's throats. We're not gonna. There's two separate issues going on here. I came there as a witness to see what would happen, to watch them battle it out. Them, Auntie, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But, but the other issue is my mother belonging, to, whether or not my mother belongs in a nursing home. And on that, I'm on Auntie's side, 100%. See? Judge is like, is that what you wrote? You didn't even sign. I, I just thought you were going to read it. I did, you didn't even sign this. Is what you wrote um, true? You didn't write under penalty of perjury. I thought you were going to read it. It's just like me saying it. I didn't know you were going to keep it. I actually asked for a bag. You can't have a bag. You, you can't make a copy. It's a court document. All right, whatever. Doesn't matter. I wanted to copy paste it. It couldn't, but, you know, of course it's true. Is this true? Of course it's true. They're pretending the other co-health care proxy doesn't exist and he's not, an, he's not an alternate. The whole thing is he does exist. The whole thing, it wasn't just me tricking my mother into making me her health care proxy and this, that plays into the area. Oh, it's just auntie and Laura. Da, 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 da. That's, that's what they want to do. And that's how they originally got, the, you know, the emergency thing, whatever. They're not telling the truth. I'm sorry.
so glad I showed up. I am so glad. But even if I hadn't, they still would have had to postpone it and whatnot. I just wouldn't have found out. Yeah, I definitely, I'm her child. I'm not fighting for anything except for the truth to come out. You know? Told you, whatever. I, it, it's, it, it's, it's, auntie, them, what, you know what I mean? But I don't, I'm not going to be made into the scapegoat. I have the friggin' letter. You can stay there. My, my, my mother says you can stay there as long as you want. That's just ridiculous. But Auntie Monroe, your mom says you can stay there past January 1st as long as you pay the, okay? But their game is to say I manipulate my mother into staying here and blah, blah, blah. So I at least got to say that to the judge. You know, I didn't say that. That they, I didn't say they said I, that my mom says I can stay here. But I'm not going to be made. I see their game. I'm not saying anything Auntie's doing is right or whatnot because she's turning it all on me. But but I don't care. What I care is my mom not being in a nursing home, okay? Unless she actually belongs in one, and I don't think that she does. Not a nursing home. She definitely needs somebody to take care of her finances, most definitely, to protect her, even from herself. Because even when she gets sick, she wants to buy all kinds of shit. It has nothing to even do with giving money to people. She wants to buy all kinds. She does need protection. But not like this. And not via those elder abuse people who have their own agenda. Okay? And no, it should not be auntie. It should be a neutral third party. It shouldn't even be anyone in the family. But it shouldn't be going through those elder abuse people who are not on the up and up. They're not on the up and up. They are neglecting to tell a judge an important picture. And, and they didn't even serve him. That's illegal. They knew. And if they don't know, then they have their thumbs up their asses and they should be, they should be thrown out of court. She always says I can go after them. Where are they gave and getting their information? It's not for my mother. If my mother hated me and is accusing me of elder abuse, do you think that my mother would, would say I can stay here in her home as long as I want to? Do you think Auntie would back her up? You can stay. Past, your mother told me she says you can stay past January 1st in her home, you and Omar, but you have to pay the, the bills? You see the game here? You see how desperately I need to be out of here. Okay? I most definitely need to be out of here. Okay? Be in my own place with Omar and then see these people battle it out in court. I think that's why Auntie didn't have a lawyer. She saw you get this two day notice, they don't even serve the co health care proxy. She saw it was all bullshit. She saw it for the bullshit it was. And so did I, except I, did, I went there blind. I'm not in communication with Auntie. I, I got served this thing two days and I vowed to get there. Even if I had to take a fucking taxi. Because if my mother's fate's going to be decided, as I said, a judge, a stranger is going to get to decide how my mother lives out the rest of her days of her life. I'm going to be witness to that. That's a big deal. But the money part, the whatever, you know, it's all just fuck it all, you know? But I'm not going to let these scumbag elder abuse people get away with this. They're not playing on the up and up. They're not. It, would, they, it wouldn't have mattered if they, they didn't accidentally spell my name. And they, they didn't even get a copy of the health care. If they don't know, they have to know. They have to know it's not just me. They do. They did it on purpose. They have to have a copy of the goddamn health care proxy because they knew I was. They listed Auntie Power of Attorney, Laura, um, Dot, you know, spell my name wrong, health care proxy. It, do they co attach a copy? No, unattached. I put that in my little letter. And how convenient that they didn't attach a copy of the health care proxy showing that it wasn't just me, my mother appointed as her health care proxy back in, 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 in the summer when, when my mother consciously made the conscious decision to strip out of all power, financial, and health care. Okay? They can't do that. They can't just disregard the other health care proxy. They can't just do what they want, make stuff up, but they're doing it. So, yeah, I totally backed up Auntie. It was like we were on the same side, okay, in that. 
And I said nothing about, I didn't say, you know, I don't care if, if you appoint a third party or blah, 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 because that's separate from me. I've given up on that, 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 and whatever. But you're not going to make me into the scapegoat. You're not going to play your little game that it's only me. That's what they wanted it to look like. I see their game. I see right through them. And in that, I'm on auntie's side 100%. Okay? 100%. But in that auntie should be investigated about the money and that it shouldn't be anyone in the family. There should be a neutral third party appointed over my mom. Yeah, a neutral third party that's not working with elder abuse to throw my mother in a fucking nursing home. Okay? This is a joke. I see their game. I see their game. Did the judge see their game? I have no idea. The judge at least didn't make a decision, you know. It's going back to court. It's not finalized. Because the judge sees it can't be finalized. It's ridiculous. They they were caught in a fucking trickery, deception, with the healthcare proxy not serving my uncle, not attached to a copy of the healthcare proxy, spelling my name incorrectly, acting like it's only me, so they, that plays into their little, oh, it's just, I tricked my mom into making me the healthcare proxy and auntie and da 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 it plays into it all. She can, and then the nursing home thing. Well, if she's so bad off, she belongs in a nursing home. Why would you say, oh, well, she can actually go back to her own home and then live alone here. Nobody, in, but not if the daughter's there. See? See their game? They throw me into the mix thinking they're just going to get away with it and I'm just going to cower and not show up and not fight. Of course I'm going to fight. You are not giving the judge the whole story. Okay? And the universe knows that my relationship with my mother, who has been schizophrenic, diagnosed when I was 10, is very complicated and complex. I'm emotionally abusive. She lies to, to her friends, saying this, that, or whatever. My cousin knows the truth. She lies, and, and she, makes, she drives herself into a frenzy. My cousin witnessed it. I don't want to move, I don't want to go with this 83 year old man and, 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 and move in with him and Omar. Well, you, you don't even have to have sex with him if you don't want to. And my cousin Winston, she comes home and then she, you know that, and rants and raves and drives herself into a frenzy. They're not going to say I'm emotionally abusive and whatnot. I'm dealing with a very sick woman. I have problems myself. It's not fair to sit there and judge and say, oh, she's emotionally abusive to her mother. You're not here in this house and seeing what she does, you know? I'm not saying that it's perfect. Again, my mother's the one that would say just recently, why don't we get a condo, you, me, Angel, and Omar? Mom, we can't do that. No one will let you anyway. Why not? That's what I did suggested before. But yeah, long before all this stuff and elder abuse involved, Mom, you're not thinking clearly. But the fact that she wants to, that doesn't play into their little game, does it? The fact that she gave me permission to stay here past January 1st as long as I pay the bills, that doesn't play into their little game, does it? Did I say that to the judge? No. I didn't get, think I'd get to talk at all. I thought that they would just battle it out and I would witness. And I thought my mom would be there. But when my mom's not there... I know the judge sees what's going on here. And yeah, Auntie and I were on the same side. We brought up the same points. She brought up even points I didn't understand. It's like they just throw me into the mix. The main person they're after is Auntie. She's the one with all the money, but they throw me into the mix because, but then they, they have to, like Joe says, they don't even talk to you. It's like hearsay. It's like they're going by my YouTube videos if they're what. I, I'm, I'm blindsided here. I said it. I said it to the judge. I'm like, I was blindsided here. They didn't communicate any of their real plans with my lawyer, who talked to them on more than one occasion. And why did she talk to them? Because I was in a panic over the, uh, the message I got from my cousin saying, and then my lawyer come for me, oh no, that was just, they're just good, and, and everything's fine, no! They're not on the up and up, people. They're not. These elder abuse people are scum. They didn't tell the judge the truth. But do I trust, I, auntie needs to have a fucking lawyer in court and my mom needs to have a lawyer. 
And, and whether or not, I mean, I don't, I still probably won't have a lawyer. I'll probably just observe it being battled out because it's just, it's just, uh, I don't have any money. Now a conservative guardian's been appointed over by mother temporary, but, but they're not going to, that means my mother's money is no longer hers, so I don't even get back the little $700 that I was supposed to have back. Now I'm even poorer than I was, you know? No, did how much of that was uh um, my mom needs to pay her health insurance bill. I thought it was gonna come out automatically. I guess it didn't. I guess I had to do it and I can't remember what I made I I I, I made a, I did it on my own but I don't remember Remember, I, had, I got permission even from them. They're like, you can go online. I said, what am I supposed to do with the bank accounts from, and, you know? But it, this is bad. It's like, I actually, no, you, I did the right thing. And I, you know, I, I reported, I helped them with their case against auntie regarding the money and whatnot. And then they don't fucking care. They throw me into the mix. And it, that's just sick. But they can't just pretend that the co co health care proxy doesn't exist. He's equal with me. But they did that on purpose. I hope the judge saw that, but I don't know if she did. I don't know anything. I don't. She didn't call him on it. If Auntie and I both, and we're the supposed enemies, I mean, and, and, and we are, but you know what I mean? But not in regards to things like my mother going to a nursing home, you know? But if, if, if we both brought this up to the judge, you'd think she would have called them on it. She didn't. She didn't. She didn't. She didn't say to them, why did you, did you know that there was another, co another health care proxy? Why didn't you serve him? Why didn't you attach a copy of the health care proxy? Why didn't you, um, let me know? Why, why? And see what they say, and she didn't even call him on it. She didn't even call him on it. It's like she disregarded it. That's a big fucking thing. Why did she do that? Why didn't that judge say to them, you know, both the sister and the, the daughter are pointing out that you just pretended the other health care proxy doesn't, didn't exist. You made it seem like it was just Laura. Why did you do that? Did you know there was another health care proxy? And they'd have to say yes or no, and they're under oath. Why didn't you serve him? That's a big thing. The case should be thrown out of court for that. It should. It should be started all over again. No judge everything. Why did they do that? Why didn't the judge call them on it? It's a big omission. Auntie and I, the, the, the supposed enemies, we both brought it up in different ways. I didn't know he wasn't served. I just wondered, I just... I just wondered why, he, I just thought he was served and didn't go to court, but I, I didn't know they actually, they're just like pretending it doesn't exist, but I knew it on the form, they write down just me, why do they get away with that, why didn't the judge call him on it, why didn't the judge call them on it, that's a big fucking deal people, just tell me, why didn't the judge, forget about them, they're scum, why didn't the judge call them on it, it's a big deal. Auntie and I, the supposed enemies, are bringing up what these people did. Why didn't the judge call him on it? Why didn't she? Okay, did you know that there was another, another health care proxy? They'd have to say yes or no.